For Montana East Regional News, this is Emily Boyles. Montana East tracks trends in regional courts. Over the past several months, there has been an uptick in domestic violence-related cases, some reflecting a quick call for help by victims after an initial incident, and others where partner assault could have been fatal following stalking or physical or sexual assault. All of our communities offer help for people in such situations. We wanted to find out what that help consists of. Here's what we learned. I thought it was appropriate to bring in Pam Mitchell Ramirez, who is with the Dawson County Domestic Violence Program, to kind of talk a little bit about what is domestic violence, what services are available, and how do you figure out if maybe that's a program that might be able to help you and your family before things get to the point of dire harm. So to start out, Pam, what exactly is Dawson County Domestic Violence? Um, we are a free and confidential program that serves victims of domestic violence, dating violence, sexual assault, and stalking. Our agency was organized in 1979, and we are one of the oldest uh, domestic violence agencies in Montana. The program is truly a frontier program. So what, what kinds of services does your agency offer? We have people that will come into our office and we'll just sit down and visit with them. Um, and then we're cued to certain red flags and then that way we can determine if a person um, needs our services uh, such as emergency shelter or our support groups or a safety plan or maybe even an order of protection. What are some of the kinds of things that somebody might be experiencing when they come into your office? Well, for sure, they're 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 very stressed. Um, they're ashamed and embarrassed uh, of their situation, um, and we just sit and listen. Um, tell them that it's okay. Um, we're here, and once we figure out what's going on with them, then we come up with a plan of action together. Because it's always that person's choice to do whatever it is that they want to do, whether that's stay or leave. And sometimes when someone's going through something like that, they they kind of know that things aren't quite right in their household, so they can come to see you during business hours. But you also have a crisis line if things are kind of escalating mm -hmm. and getting kind of scary for a person and or their children at night. Uh, what is that number, and what is the function of the crisis line? The number is 406-989-1318. Um, and the, functions of the function of the crisis line is to assist um, people who are in danger or in crisis due to the domestic violence or sexual assault or even stalking. And it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter if it's a holiday or not. And that number is again? 406-989-1318. What are some of the common misconceptions about the domestic violence program? People people are probably a little afraid to call if they think there's things that are going wrong. Um, what are some reasons why people are, have that kind of hesitancy and what's the real story? Well, common misconceptions are that we only serve um, female people and that our goal is to break up relationships. Um, our services are actually available to anyone who has experienced dating violence, sexual assault, domestic violence, stalking. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're male or female. We do not make decisions for the people that uh, seek our services, but we offer uh, them choices um, as how to proceed in when they are in a domestic violence situation. Especially difficult for a man who maybe has a, a wife or a girlfriend or someone who's stalking them to go in and talk to people at domestic violence. Do you have male advocates available also for, for men that might feel more comfortable speaking with a man? We do have male board members, so if they would feel um, more at ease speaking with them, I think we could con contact them to come in. Um, we do serve male victims, uh, and they have uh, is stalking is a, is a big one for our area, and sure. Uh, once we discuss our program and, and uh, some of those stalking behaviors, uh, then the, the, the men seem more comfortable and it's okay that they want to talk to a woman and then we help them in whatever area that they want to do, whether that's getting an order of protection or a, putting out a stalking notice with the local law enforcement agency. And all of our services are free. Again, what's the crisis line number, and then what are some of the uh, phone numbers that they can call for during the day, or they can go in uh, regionally? Okay. Um, our crisis line number is 
989-989-1318. Our office um, phone number is available Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and that number is 406-377-6477. And um, if you're not in Dawson Prairie or Weibo County, uh, you can still contact our office and we'll get you hooked up with our sister agencies um, in eastern Montana. We will be back with more from Pam Mitchell Ramirez after this. Montana East Regional News with Emily Boyles is produced by Mark's Group Broadcasting. You can listen weekdays in Glendive, Forsyth, Miles City, and Sydney, Williston, and Dickinson, North Dakota. Find Montana East Regional News on television on KXGN CBS and KXGN NBC. You can also keep up with breaking news and great regional events. Find Emily Boyles on Twitter and Facebook. If you are just joining us, we are learning from Pam Mitchell Ramirez from Domestic Violence in Dawson County about how the domestic violence programs help individuals figure out what they want their future to be. Good. Now, you're an advocate, and you have multiple advocates through your agency, both volunteers as well as on staff. What is the role of an advocate to somebody that's receiving services from your agency? Basically, we are emotional support. Um, we are there to listen, um, help them to plan. A lot of times a person that seeks our services, they've been denied the opportunity to make decisions for themselves. So as an advocate, that is one of our main things is that we don't make decisions for them. We empower the person to make the decisions that are necessary to keep them safe, move forward in their life. Sometimes when people know that they're in a bad situation, but there's financial reasons or other reasons that they feel like they can't leave quite yet. What are some of the things that you can suggest to folks out there who might want to be leaving a, a violent situation, they're not quite ready to talk to you yet, what are some things that they can kind of do in the back of their mind? What we discuss is having like what we call a getaway bag ready and in that getaway bag there's important documents like the birth certificate, a marriage certificate, um, social security cards, um, having credit cards or debit cards, even money, medication, jewelry, anything that if they were to flee at a moment's notice it's a bag they could take and they would have the necessary items that they would need with them. Once that happens, often people have children, they might have common property, they may have harm that's been done to themselves by, by their partner. What kind of legal services can your agency provide to that individual? Um, our legal program can help with um, a dissolution of marriage, parenting plans, orders of protection, um, anything legal that a person that needs legal help with we usually can help with and all of our services are free so and of course when someone's thinking about leaving a bad situation we are in eastern montana in the middle of an oil boom and there's no housing and the fear of becoming homeless with an impending winter is always a big fear especially when there's maybe a mom and a little baby involved what what kind of emergency housing situations are available through your agency? We do have um, emergency shelter in our area, and um, we will house the the person that's seeking shelter, and um, and then there's a we have our transitional housing program available as well. So if you're afraid of being homeless, put that out of your mind. We've got shelter that can help you and get you to where it is you need to be so that you're safe and you have shelter. And we really focused on Dawson County during this broadcast, but there's also programs that work with you in Miles City and Sydney, and you have outreaches, the programs have outreaches throughout the region. Again, what's the crisis line number? And then what are some of the uh, phone numbers that they can call for during the day or they can go in uh, regionally? Okay. Um, our crisis line number is 406 nine eight nine one three one eight our office um, phone number is available monday through friday eight to five and that number is four oh six three seven seven six four seven seven and um, if you're not in dawson prairie or weibo county uh, you can still contact our office and we'll get you hooked up with our sister agencies um, in eastern montana 
Fantastic. And one more time with that crisis line number. 406-989-1318. Thank you, Pam Mitchell Ramirez, an advocate with domestic violence of Dawson. If you have a hot news story or a news tip you'd like to share with us, you can email us at newsdesk at kxgn.com. For Montana East Regional News, this is Emily Boyles.